In our series, Vaccinating America, we're looking at how a new strain of coronavirus might affect vaccine development and distribution. HHS Secretary Azar joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I want to talk about that distribution. Uh, yesterday, we had New Jersey Governor Murphy on saying that states really need more help. And we know that New Jersey, along with California and several other states, are having problems saying they didn't receive as, as much vaccine as they thought they would. What are you doing to ensure that these states are getting the vaccines? Oh, for goodness sake. And I was just with Governor Murphy yesterday on the vice president's governor's call. There's not an issue. Uh, we put out some initial estimates back in November that were just broad estimates to help with planning assumptions. Uh, and then we gave each week on Tuesday night, we give them the concrete allocation of vaccines that they have to be able to distribute within their state. Uh, this week, for instance, it's 2 million doses of Pfizer vaccine and 5.9 million doses of Moderna vaccine. Uh, that's all clear. The governors just need to listened uh, with the information we're giving them. We've been very clear about that. They're allocating that and they're getting it distributed out there. And I'm going to get the Moderna vaccine in just about an hour. Yeah, I want to ask you about that because you're getting the Moderna vaccine. We know that Joe Biden, uh, president-elect, got the vaccine yesterday. Dr. Anthony Fauci getting the vaccine as well today. I have a number of people in my circle who are health care providers. And I know that there have been elected officials on both sides of the aisle who have really taken a lot of criticism for getting the vaccine. What do you have to say to healthcare workers who say, well, it's great that we're showing that this is effective and these people are getting the vaccine, but I haven't gotten mine yet. Well, for me, for Dr. Fauci, for Dr. Francis Collins of the NIH, and for others out there as leaders, it's really important that we demonstrate our confidence in the vaccine because we've seen a surge in vaccine confidence. Now over 80% of Americans say they would take the vaccine, and that's an incredible improvement. Literally, the vaccines are approved under my name. I committed early on that I would get vaccinated publicly on TV to demonstrate my complete and utter confidence in the independence of the FDA's approval process of safe and effective vaccines, and that's what I'm doing. And I encourage other leaders to do that, to again, demonstrate confidence, and especially we want to make sure we get other thought leaders and individuals that, that will really help convey in, in underrepresented, underserved communities the need and importance of getting vaccinated also. Are you privately urging the president to take the vaccine on camera? Well, I'm not going to discuss my interactions with the president, but the president, of course, he just has recovered from COVID. Uh, he had monoclonal antibodies, and he's going to have interactions with his physicians about what's appropriate. He has tweeted that he will get vaccinated, and so I think that's an important thing for people to know. Do you think he should get vaccinated? I think everybody should get vaccinated uh, that for whom it's indicated. But it needs to be at the right. But it needs to be at the right time and in consultation with your health care providers and people on the outside should be very careful. Uh, we don't want to get into the business now of vaccine shaming individuals because we don't know their interactions with their physicians and the advice that they're getting from their physicians. Well, so along what you said, if someone already had covid and has the antibodies, should they be discussing it with their doctor and being cautious like the president is? Uh, you should discuss that with your doctor, yes, because uh, you want to make sure if you've gotten the monoclonal antibodies, uh, you want to make sure your physician has assessed whether enough time has passed, that it's appropriate to get vaccinated. Uh, Dr. Fauci has talked about this publicly, that it is appropriate to be vaccinated after having recovered from coronavirus and after having gotten mono monoclonal antibodies, but you'll just want to make sure a sufficient amount of time has passed in consultation with your physician. You uh, have an aggressive plan, 100 million doses you hope go out by February. I know a lot of people who are saying, I do want to take the vaccine, which I think goes into your 80% uh, category, but they're saying, I don't want to take it right away. I don't download software at 1.0. I download it at 1.6, 1.8. What do you have to say to those people? Uh, well, we've seen incredible uptake just in the first week and a half of this program. Uh, every hospital that I've been to, the, the healthcare workers, it's oversubscribed. Uh, the people want to get vaccinated. This vaccine, these two vaccines, they're not going to be sitting on shelves. And I think for all of those people you referred to, as they see friends and neighbors and especially healthcare workers getting vaccinated and having positive experiences with it, I think it'll only continue to build confidence. You know, it's that word of mouth that with, with all things uh, helps build confidence in us. Secretary Azar, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me.